As heartbreaking as it is, this latest development does help bring some closure now to another family of the six construction workers killed in this tragedy. Suazo Sandoval, now one of three workers recovered from the wreckage. That includes Alejandro Hernandez Fuentes and Dorlian Castillo Cabrera. The remains of the other three still encased in what investigators are calling the superstructure of that wreckage. And WJZ remains on top of the story at 11 o'clock as Caroline Forback joins us now. And Caroline, has Maynor's family been able to see the remains of their loved one yet? No, Rick. Maynor Suazo Sandoval's brother, Carlos, says he has not seen his brother's body yet. That is expected to happen tomorrow. Ten days after the Francis Scott Key Bridge was struck by a cargo ship and collapsed. Friday morning, dive teams recovered the body of a third construction worker, 38-year-old Maynor Yasir Suazo Sandoval. The recovery just a few hours before President Biden arrived in Baltimore. Most were immigrants, but all were Marylanders. Hardworking, strong, and selfless. After pulling a night shift fixing potholes, they were on a break when the ship struck. The president making a visit to the collapse site Friday, also meeting with some of the families of the six construction workers who lost their lives, three of them still missing amid the wreckage in the Patapsco River. All the families and loved ones who are grieving have come here to grieve with you. The federal government has already authorized $60 million in funds for the initial response, with more federal funds to come pending approval from Congress. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers expects to dredge a new 35-foot channel to the Port of Baltimore by the end of the month to allow one-way traffic for barge container service and some vessels moving cars and farm equipment to and from the port. Two shallower emergency channels are already open, with the main 50-foot channel where the dolly remains stuck expected to resume port operations by the end of May. Until then, businesses that rely on the port continue feeling the impacts. The port is obviously the backbone of the entire region here. Port workers used to be a big part of the lunchtime rush at Jimmy Seafood. Co-owner John Mitadakis says port and bridge access are key for his own business operations. We're definitely feeling the effects already and we're bracing for probably a couple of years of this. There's still no timeline on rebuilding the bridge, although Biden vowed again Friday to move heaven and earth to do it as quickly as possible. Bob Remitty, who has owned Squires in Dundalk for more than five decades, Hi, how you doing? thinks the rebuild could take at least another year and a half. But he has faith the local workforce can make it happen. They can do it. We have plenty of people here that are talented in the Dundalk area, steel workers, truck drivers, you name it. They're down here. Now, it's worth noting, while the president did meet with some of the victims' families during his visit today, Suazo Sandoval's brother Carlos tells CBS News he was not invited because, according to a Biden administration liaison, the White House did not have his contact information. However, he says he did receive a call from the White House apologizing. Reporting live in Baltimore tonight, Caroline Forback for WJZ.